The apprentice magician had stayed in the witch castle for a few days now, and still the witch was nowhere to be found. So, as she was there to complete her witch training, she decided to make herself at home, cooking delicious witch's dinners in the witch kitchen, with pumpkins, mushrooms coming from the enchanted woods near the castle, or baked apples grown in the witch's orchard. When the apprentice witch was not studying, practicing her spells, she loved doing some witch art in her leisure time. The colors were not normal colors, they were made of enchanted ingredients The grey was made out of stormy clouds, and when you painted a tempest on the paper, a ferocious storm could instantly be heard and seen outside. She always dreamed of owning her own toad, because every respected witches had a toad among her witch pets. Infernal Dictionary, Dictionnaire Infernal, ou Recherche et Anecdotes sur les démons, les esprits, les fantômes, les spectres, les revenants, les loups-garous, les possédés, les sorciers, published in 1818, Colin de Plancy says that seeing a toad is enough to trigger spasm and fits even death. And all witches know that the head of the toad hides a magical stone, the crapodine. The frogs hide a similar stone, the frog stone, which are the best antidotes against any sort of bits and stings. Pierre de Lancre, judge and demonologist in the early 17th century, specialist of demons and witchcraft in the southwest of France, wrote three books about witchcrafts. 
and in one of it, published in 1627, L'incrédulité et mécréance du sortilège, pleinement convaincu, he writes that the most powerful witches of his time always carried a toad with horns on their left shoulder. But the toad could be visible to those who were witches or had been witches. So, you are seeing this witch toad right now? Hmm? For another demonologist, Baudin, from the same era, the only presence of a toad near a person suspected of witchcraft was a sufficient proof to have her sent to the Inquisition Tribunal. She also liked to practice her magic to decorate and embellish the witch's castle. After a long day studying her enchantments, the apprentice witch had to go to bed and get ready for sleep with her favorite pets. The toad and the pumpkin painting come from my very new Halloween workshop, which also includes a wolf spellbook, and you can take advantage of the launching offer till October 15, 2023. You could still join after that till October 31st, but the offer will be gone. Once enrolled, you keep access to the content even when a workshop will close its doors on October 31st. If you are interested and if you want to create some paper decors with me this year for your Halloween and autumn decor, you can join my workshops at learnthemagicofpaper.com. The links are under this video. The recipe of the baked apples, pomme en habit fête, come from a recipe book from the late 90s called La Cuisine des Fées, which is not really available right now in the classic bookshops, but you can find it secondhand on platforms like eBay. And La Mécréance du Sortilège by Pierre Delangre, published in 1627, is for sale right now by a British bookseller in London for 13,000 euros. So if you are interested to complete your knowledge about witchcraft, you can buy the book. <laughs> <laughs> 